When you walk up to the walls of the school, you feel something special, unique. Ackworth is over 240 years old and boasts a rich and curious history. They take pride in their long tradition and family values. The emphasis here is put on individual goals and inspiration. The Ackworth School Pathway helps children realize their potential, often greater than expected. Look right in the center entrance on the screen when you walk in. Welcome, Igor Yeremeyev from SMAPS. When you see that from the doorstep, it makes you feel special. So tell me, would you be able to skip classes if you lived right in the school building, right on the second floor above the classrooms? I'll show you the boarding room, so where the students live, and uh, this is the common kitchen. The room is right in the central building of the school. Uh, the main kitchen with its own kind of uh, bar area. Also from this kitchen, you go into the hall that has a TV and the seating area, as well as um, table soccer. Now we're in one of the rooms. Uh, this is the boys' room, two beds, and it's a pretty big room, by the way. You can see the window. The room is probably five meters wide, so it's about 25 square meters. Uh, we have a table for starting, another one. And look, uh, here's the most important thing I want to show you. You literally live in a school building. You can't skip classes, that's for sure. <laughs> Now we're in the design and technology classroom, but it's probably hard to call it a classroom because it's an entire building. I'm surrounded by the woodwork, which um, in the future, I guess, may be an armchair or a closet. And there is even a kind of a Roman carriage where gladiators fought. So there is a lot of different things that uh, kids are working on. Just a couple more words about this design and technology department right here. You don't just have a classroom with uh, handicrafts. You've got a whole building that's dedicated to this uh, subject and, uh, for example, you go up the spiral staircase and there are computers with the software installed, where kids are working on designs for their future products, uh, lots of examples of all sorts of uh, designs on the walls, from, um, from furniture to some kind of electronic devices, objects, uh, that you can work on anything you want, and there are large spaces, rooms with uh, different tools, um, different cutting and uh, woodworking machines. So if you want to be, if you want to be a designer, so you can do literally anything. <laughs> Five tennis courts, eight soccer fields for 11 on 11 games. And students also play on the professional soccer fields in a town here at the soccer academy. In Ackworth, if you play professional tennis or soccer or squash, also, of course, squash is not so popular in Russia. Anyway, Ackworth is famous for these professional academies. As for the table tennis, uh, two years ago, Ackworth became uh, the number one school in the UK among both uh, girls and boys. The school now has 500 students representing more than 20 nationalities. There are more than 50 clubs and communities. Children are involved in 20 kinds of sports. If you would like to learn more about the Aquith school programs, learn about enrollment requirements or ask questions, follow the link in the description of this video. There is an online chat room on the website where you can ask questions to online consultants.
Tom, uh, the school representative, uh, just showed me a picture from 1890. This is uh, the pool uh, that was built then, so can you imagine the pool being 130 years old? Back then they didn't have special swimming suits, so everyone was swimming naked. And there's a billboard, it says uh, they're number one in all of Yorkshire for, um, they call it, a value added. Well, you got a question, what does that mean? It means when a child enters, uh, from the time they enter high school to the time they graduate, the child reaches the highest level of achievement, which means they are number one in Yorkshire. There are famous people on the walls who have started here, and there is, so uh, for example, Fiona Wood, uh, she's British, but uh, then she moved to Australia. She was the Woman of the Year in Australia in the revolutionary advances in medicine. They were doing some research on uh, skin. And on this wall here we can see Philip Noel Baker, he is uh, the only man who has uh, both an Olympic medal and uh, also won the Nobel Prize. Uh, the only man who is uh, both an Olympic champion and the Nobel laureate.